Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn about configuring various options that are available while configuring the routes for components. Right? If you are following along this particular series, you would have seen that in the last episode, we learned how to create an app routing module from scratch. We added just basic um, routes for two components, right? That's really basic ones, right? But if when you are working in real time application, especially enterprise level or any real serious application, you would have a much more uh, bigger problem to work with, right? And not just basic routes. So there are a lot of options that we can configure for components, right? And that's what I'm going to show you in this particular episode. After this episode, you will be able to configure your routes in much better way and you will have much better control on how the data, how the options, how the configurations can be done. We'll learn all about it and do hands-on practical examples as well. Let's get started. This is part 41 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. The playlist link and the previous videos link are in the description box below. I make notes for each uh, video and tutorial that I teach. Those notes are uh, uh, uploaded to GitHub link and the GitHub link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. Uh, also, these are the topics that I've covered in the last 40 episodes. Each topic I have put in a lot of time and effort to teach you in detail along with notes. Uh, so I hope it will really help you to learn and master Angular 10. If you have any doubts in any of these topics or any 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 doubts in general, please drop them in the comment section. I will try and help you as much as I can. All right. So today we are in the 41st um, episode. Today we are learning about component routes. So if you see, I have highlighted uh, episode number 35 also because it's interrelated so you might want to grab that episode and revise and your basic skills as well so so going forward everything will be iteration right which means that you would have learned some or the other thing here and there we are learning in detail so it would be kind of iteration so make sure that you refer to previous episodes and learn so that you can master this particular topics that being said let's get started with configuring options for component routes so what are the different options that we can configure our routes? Uh, so there are different uh, things that we can configure. We can configure path. We have component, that's uh, options that it takes. We have redirect to, we have children, we have outlet, we have path match, right? So if you again notice, um, I have covered some of these in the previous episodes. Let me uh, explain that here. Episode number 41, we're configuring component routes options options right so there are various options right there are yes options that we can configure in component routes right some of the some of the ones that we have seen in previous slash earlier uh, tutorials are right so if you see uh, we <coughs> all right so we have covered open your app routing and you would see that we have added path we have added component right just the two basic ones right um, so we have added already path and we have added component which is what is the path or the name of the component and this is a path that you want to add right if you are following along in this series while covering router outlet right i have shown you in detail how to use outlet option uh, so make sure that you check it out i don't want to repeat for uh, a lot of users but then it's a named outlet that you would provide right and how to use that how to provide it i've shown that in router outlet tutorial right uh, please check the playlist. All right. Uh, so this is uh, one of the options, which is you have component, you have outlet, you have path, right? And you also have something called children here. Oh, no, I didn't mean that you have children. I mean, the component can have the children, right? 
so this is yet another array and it would have its own uh, further routes to it right so like for example you I don't want to add it here I'm just deleting it here just to show you and save time right so see in the children they would again follow the same pattern what is there for us here right so which means it's a array and it would it's an object basically and these are the keys and parameters it can take which is path component outlet children right so inside the children's array we can again mention space again further array right so now this particular path will become loan types slash add loan right so let me show you that how it works so let's start this up here so I'm going to remove the outlet for now because by default it's primary and I've shown you how to use that in the previous episode. So make sure to check it out. I don't want to repeat and uh, it would become repetitive. Alrighty, so let it build. In the meanwhile, when it's building, uh, if you like the video tutorial, please do give a like. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in comments and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Alrighty, so I have it here. So now we have the loan types and I'm saying slash add loan, right? So you see, it says loan type slash add loan, right? So now what I'm going to do is, this is the main path of our, um, so here don't give the component and here you give loan types slash each of this, right? So now you see it says add loan works right so at any point of time you would have only one right any one component if you want more than one component you can have it uh, simply like something like uh, outlet or you can have a common reusable component conf configured right so so this is how you can configure various child routes inside the parent one right so let's say you have one main path which says you will say let's say customers or say loans right now you'll say inside this you will have add loan and yet another copy I'm just giving an example like you'll have add edit delete right so you will have path like this for each of the component in for loans so this is one pay child right so similarly you can copy and let's say for you would have same thing for let's say customers so you'll say add customer edit customer right and delete customer so see the idea you get right you have the main path and then followed by the um, um, followed by the sub children or the child routes so that is how uh, you can easily configure the child children using the children option Right, that's what we just saw all right that's okay and then you also have something called redirect to right so this I'm going to cover um, maybe in the next episode or I can let me see let me do that so it's just a redirect right by the name itself it says it's just a redirect so I'm going to clean up here I'm going to delete all of this I keep I'm keeping it simple so you get to learn what you're focusing on Right, so now you see there is something called redirect to. So what it means is that whenever the user will hit this URL, he will be redirected to a certain uh, path. Right. So let's say if you are having this particular redirection here, and let me configure it here, and I'll let me give a path. So let's say for some reason. Uh, for some reason you updated your path or SEO strategy right uh, and in the previous one you had your old URL as um, say um, add new loan right that is what uh, was the previous one but now you want all the redirections and redirections to happen to uh, say add loan right so this is one of those uh, use cases where you can just say whenever there is a in the URL you get add new loan redirect it to add loan and which will internally point to this component let me show you that 
so now add new loan this is the one that I'm putting with this this one so what we have written whenever you get this path you have to redirect to add loan right now let's see so you see here it redirected to add loan right fair enough simple uh, nothing complicated by the name it says redirect to a new um, comp a new path which is pointing to another component right so these are some of the configurations that you can do for components that you want to specify and work with all right let me see if i've missed anything uh, there is path match uh, i'll cover that um, uh, there is partial full path match i'll cover that uh, maybe in some other episode or maybe down the line um, because that would really require its own topic so but you just know that there is something called path match uh, like partial and full and i will cover that little later i will make it a note so that so that i don't miss it out for you so path match right so you can specify path match and you can say whether it's a full path match or a partial match how how do you want to work it okay so this i will say uh, will cover incoming episodes okay so that's a quick uh, runway on uh, configuring route options for configuring the component routes right let me know if you have any doubts in any of these things that we have seen uh, like i said there are some of the things related to uh, the previous um, what do you call it the some of the previous episodes uh, and these are all iteration mode which means will be in learning in increments so please do make sure that you learn the previous episodes also all right so these are some of the examples uh, that i just showed you um, however i did not um, i like to write notes live uh, and not do ppt work but these are some of the notes for you for your reference check it out let me know if you have any doubts in the next episode i will cover about parameterizing routes like how can you pass parameters in the routes please do join me in the next episode if you are enjoying if you are liking my tutorials please do hit the like button also, if you like my work, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arctutorials. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.